Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 11 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. This week we are going to crochet our way across the territory, the Canadian territory of Nunavut. So the pattern that I've selected today is a very subtle texture. I have crocheted in an ecru color which sort of reflects, reflects the um, snowy and cold uh, northern territory that you'll find. It's a fairly simple pattern as you will see made with a combination of double crochet and single crochet stitches. If you are taking a look at this pattern uh, also uh, as a whole you will see that the next three panels for the territories that we will be working are going to be a slightly different shape from the others that we have worked thus far. Thus their dimensions are slightly different at 16 inches by 32 inches. All the information for this crochet along can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there you'll also find links to the videos uh, that accompany each week and demonstrate how to do these stitch patterns. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will receive weekly updates on this crochet along as well as other free crochet patterns. So what we will need for today is our 5.5 millimeter crochet hook along with a worsted weight yarn. The yarn that I use in my project is the Mary, Mary Maxim maximum value yarn but you may use any worsted weight yarn of your choosing. Now that you have your materials together, let's get started. So if you are following along with the pattern as written, today for your panel you are going to begin by making a starting chain of 59 stitches. If you would like to change the size of your panel, you may do so by chaining a even number of stitches, so a multiple of two and then adding one stitch for your starting chain for this pattern. Again, all the information about this blog, as well as helpful tips on how to change the size of these panels because they fit together slightly differently, as I said, in this blanket. Uh, all the information can be found for free on my blog, and I've provided the links for you in these video notes. So today I will only be making a small swatch so you have an idea of how to work this pattern. So instead of chaining 59, which you would if you were following the pattern uh, that I have written for the twin size blanket, today instead I will be chaining a total of 21 stitches. Once you have your starting chain, your desired length, you are going to begin by making one double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from your hook and in each chain all the way across. So from your hook, count in four stitches, one, two, three, four. That is where you will place your first double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in that fourth chain, Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops twice. And then proceed to place one double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across. Once you have double crocheted all the way across your chain, you're going to turn your work. For row two, you are going to begin by chaining one stitch. Your chain one at the beginning does not count as a stitch. So you will chain one and you're going to single crochet in the first double crochet stitch. Next, you will skip the next stitch. And in the one following, you will work one double crochet stitch and one single crochet stitch. 
skip the next stitch and then repeat. Double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the same. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the same. Skip the next stitch, double crochet, and single crochet all in the same stitch. So you are going to continue that pattern all the way across, working, skipping one stitch and working that double crochet stitch and single crochet stitch in the same stitch. Continue that all the way across your work. When you come to your starting chain three, the chain three in your work always counts as a double crochet, so you will always work in the top of that stitch. So uh, at the end of this row, you will place one single crochet in that final stitch. <laughs> if you can find it. You will then turn your work. So you can see the texture is kind of coming out there. It's just sort of a neat little kind of design that comes through. For row three, you are going to chain three. Your double crochet always counts as a stitch, or your chain three always counts as a double crochet stitch. So you are going to begin your first double, next double crochet stitch in the next stitch. For row three, you are going to double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way across. And that is all there is to this pattern. For the rest of your panel, until your work measures a total of 30 two inches or until it reaches your desired length you are going to continue to repeat row two which is that single crochet and double crochet row and row three which is your double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way across at the end of your work you are going to begin your single crochet edging all the way around. Now again, because the dimensions of this panel are different than uh, the other panels that you have worked thus far, head on over to my blog and I have the stitch counts there for you and you will work one round of single crochet stitches all the way around. I also have helpful tips there for you as well if you have changed the dimension of your panels. So thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial for week 11 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll find the link for the written instructions for this tutorial in the video notes below. Thank you so much and happy crocheting. Bye!